When People Love Darkness, today's daily devotion from Pastor Greg Laurie. Our scripture reading today is from John chapter 3, verse 19. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. George Washington said, it is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. We start using excuses very early in life. Maybe as a student, you discovered the well-worn classic that's been used by generations, the dog ate my homework. As the years go by, you start getting new excuses to rationalize your behavior, such as everybody was doing it. Then, as you get a little older, you discover other excuses like the alarm didn't go off, traffic was really bad, and the checks in the mail. People also come up with excuses as to why they don't come into a relationship with Jesus Christ. They call them reasons and might even classify them as questions. But when you get down to it, they're nothing more than excuses. Maybe you know what it's like to share the gospel with someone who barrages you with a mass of arguments and difficult-to-answer questions. However, there's only one reason that people aren't putting their faith in Christ. It isn't because they're necessarily struggling with the gospel message philosophically or intellectually, nor is it because they're skeptics or agnostics. It's not about whether there are contradictions in the Bible. Instead, these are excuses. Their attempts to cover up the real reason, which is this, they love darkness and don't want to change. Jesus said, and the judgment is based on this fact, God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. Deep inside, they know that becoming a Christian will require change. So they hide behind a well-worn excuse. They don't want to turn from their darkness. They don't want the wind of the Spirit to blow into their lives and bring about change. They don't want to be born again. Notice Jesus said that people love the darkness more than the light. It's not only that they tolerated darkness or lived in it, they loved it. And there are people today who love sin as well. What's the worst sin a person can commit? According to the Bible, it's unbelief. Unbelief is a choice. It's hearing the facts of the gospel and saying, I'm choosing not to believe that. I don't want to believe that. That's not to say that people don't have legitimate questions. There are people with skepticism about the Christian faith. Yet Jesus always will reveal himself to the genuine seeker. However, some people think they can continually put off coming to Christ, but they need to know something. There comes a point of no return in the human life, and if they continue in a pattern of rejecting Jesus Christ, they can go beyond that point. We can't change the fact that people love darkness. We can only pray that they will see their need for Jesus Christ.